Let's do some Mayas. This is like drawing an M with my hip. It is using the vertical hip slide and the horizontal hip slide as well. So just like with our drop kicks and the hip drops, I'm actually going to be weighted on the opposite leg. Um, some people teach Maya on the same hip. My brand of Maya um, is on the opposite. Okay, so it's just so that you know. Opposite hip. And I'm going to think about lifting that hip up and then sliding it across and then down. And as it goes down, I'm going to plant my weight. So I'm weighted on the right, so my left hip is free to come up, slide it out, and down, plant my weight. So I can do this um, on the spot, so it doesn't have to be like, mm -hmm. right? but lifting the heel with that hip. Squeezing the hip up, the heel comes with it, as it goes out and down, heel goes down. I do find sometimes my, my feet tend to roll a bit with this one. So just be mindful of that. Also, please only slide your hip out as far as is comfortable. So it's up, out, and down. Planting the heel, up, out, and down. Okay, this is a flat move, um, or a completely vertical move. All right, so if I turn sideways, there's no twist action happening. Hopefully you can only see this one going and the other one behind me you can't see because I'm not twisting around. So it's straight up, straight up, straight down. My weight ideally, well, my chest. I'm going to try and keep my chest out of this movement. So that's below the belly button. Uh, nothing is happening. I mean everything is happening below the belly button. Nothing is happening above the belly button, ideally. Up, out, and down. So lifting the heel as the hip comes up, pushing it over to the side, and down, planting your heel, planting your weight. Right. The reason why I like this particular unweighted Maya, and I just noticed what I'm doing here, like the, unless you want to be like super fancy on purpose, um, like I'm saying, Keeping the chest out of it. So it's, again, like this is hard work that's happening here, right? So if everything's moving, um, what are people going to look at? You want them to look at your hips. Okay, so keeping this as still as possible. The Myers. So coming back to what I was saying, um, the reason why I like this particular unweighted Maya is because with that little transfer of weight, I can actually walk with this one. Okay, it's easier to step. So I'm coming up and over, step, up and over, and step. Then we go back, lifting the hip, up and over, step the foot out and on. This one I can do in place. Stepping Myers in place, and out, and in place. So this one, um, well besides just being fun and it can be a bit fancy, but if you're in the middle of a choreography and you find yourself in a position where you really shouldn't be, you're like about to fall off the edge of the stage or something, then you can just like, do a little stepping Maya and get back to a safe spot where there's plenty of space and you're not going to bash into anybody. But okay, that's a little bit of an anecdote for you. Okay, so, uh, hope that was, I think that was everything I needed to say. Oh, besides, you know, please, everything. Knees are still soft, my belly is engaged, especially with this one, actually, because, um, I don't know, that, that it just, your hips will not be your friend if you stick your butt up while you try and be your miles. Okay, so just be, be mindful of that. And that was it. Great. <laughs> See you in the Jules video.